Welcome back to Minty Kids. Today, we're going to be reading this wonderful book called The Day You Begin, written by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Anyway, let's get to it. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto, from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come. Your voice, once huge, now smaller when the teacher asks, What did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Chela says. These shells come from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir, a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. And as you can stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb. And your day spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room, where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this? when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Nadja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? and you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina, and I spent my whole summer with my little sister, you tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. 
Her name is Angelina, too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens up itself a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories. Where every new friend has something a little like you, and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. Just because I am a child's book of affirmation. Written by Lauren Murphy Payne. Anyway, let's get to it. I am a person. I am special. I am important. Not because of what I look like. Not because of what I have. Just because I am. This is my body. It is special. It is one of a kind. It is growing and changing. I want to take care of my body because it's mine. My body talks to me. It tells me when I'm hungry. It tells me when I'm sleepy. And it tells me when I'm sick. I can trust my body to tell me what I need. Sometimes I have strong feelings. I feel anger. I feel sadness. I feel fear, and I feel love. These feelings belong to me. When I feel angry, sometimes I yell. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I talk to someone I love. And then I feel better. When I feel sad, I need to cry. I need a hug. I need to tell someone about my sadness. So, I know it's okay to be sad. When I feel scared, scared of the dark, scared of people and things I don't know, I need to feel protected by someone I trust. I need to feel safe. When I feel love, I feel warm and snuggly. I feel happy and safe. I feel important and special. I can love myself. I am learning and growing every day. I learn by looking. I learn by listening. I learn by doing. Sometimes I make mistakes. That's part of learning too. I can make decisions. Sometimes I say yes. I say yes to playing and dancing. I say yes to laughing and singing. I say yes to hugging and touching when it feels right to me. Sometimes I say no. I say no to danger. I say no to hugging or touching that feels wrong to me. I say no to strangers and things that hurt me. I can decide. It's up to me. I have needs. It's important to let people know what I need. I can ask for help when I need it. I can ask someone who cares about me to help, and then I know I'm not alone. I am myself. I am special and unique. My body is a part of me. My feelings are a part of me. My thoughts are a part of me. My needs are also a part of me. All of these things make up a special person, me. Just One You, written by Lillian Jane and illustrated by Joe Matthew. Anyway, let's get to it. This is a story that's all about you and all the spectacular things that you do. So please come along and we'll show you it's true. There is just one and only wonderful you. Look all around, and here's what you'll find. You are unique, 
You are one of a kind. The smile on your face is like no smile I've seen. You're one special person, if you know what I mean. Your mind's full of magic to thrill and delight. Even on dark days, you make the world bright. No job is too big, no task is too small. No matter what comes, you tackle it all. You're strong and you're brave. You're a grand superhero. You give 100%. You never give zero. You dance and you dream from dusk until dawn. Don't ever stop trying. We'll cheer you on. Your adventures may take you away from your home, but your best friends will be there wherever you roam. Everyone knows how terrific you are. We've always been sure that you will go far. Because even if something doesn't quite go your way, you will turn things around the very next day. You're perfect as you. There's no one who's better. So be true to yourself and always remember, there is just one you. No other person does the things that you do. Yes, it's absolutely positively true. There's just one and only wonderful you. We're we reading about Kind Katie, so let's get to it. Ding, ding, went the alarm. Oh no, said Katie as she bumped her head. I don't want to wake up, I want to stay in bed. She ate breakfast with Mama and Papa and kissed them both goodbye. But when she took her seat on the bus, she let out a sigh. It was her first day at a new school, and her stomach felt funny. But her teacher looked nice and said, Oh, hello there, honey. Katie took a seat but didn't know what to do, so she leaned over and started to tie her shoe. When she sat up, she couldn't find her pencil or books. She hid her face to avoid kids giving funny looks. Then she remembered leaving her backpack on the floor. She couldn't believe that she didn't carry it out the door. She thought really hard of how to make this problem right. She decided to use her thinking cap with all her might. She suddenly remembered a phrase Mama used to say. It went through her head as if she hit replay. Be kind to others. That should always be your plan. Kindness can change the world. It definitely can. Katie felt better and smiled, then looked up and saw a child. She said, Hi, my name is Katie. How are you? I don't think we've met before. I'm new. The girl looked shy, but she said, hello. When she heard Katie's dilemma, she responded, oh no. She sat down next to Katie and checked through her things, then found an extra pencil and paper as the bell started to ring. Katie thanked her new friend for being so kind. Kindness must be contagious, she thought in her mind. Throughout the day, Katie did good deeds. She agreed with Mama, kindness is what the world needs. When she got home and told them about her day, they smiled with pride and didn't know what to say. Then Papa remembered that they bought Katie a gift. He found it in the closet and gave the box a lift. Katie smiled at Mama as she opened it with joy. It was a red cape, even better than a toy. She proudly put it on and noticed the letter K on the back. K for Katie, Mama said as she put the dishes on the rack. Katie thanked Mama and Papa with a big hug, then exclaimed, K is for kindness, as she hopped onto the rug. Mama agreed and twirled Katie around. Katie wore the cape all night and no one said another sound. 
Ding ding, went the alarm. It was Katie's second day of school. She kept on her cape because she knew kindness was cool. I can do it, a book about perseverance. Let's read the small message here. Perseverance is having the courage to keep trying, to work through challenges, to stick with it when it gets hard, and to be determined and persistent. That's right. Now, before we start reading, let's see who the authors are. This book was written by Kim Mitchell Thompson and Karen Mitchell Hildebrand. So, let's get to it. I will have courage to try something new. I will have patience when I don't get it the first time. I will be determined. I will have a step-by-step -step plan that will guide me. Plans are good to have. They're organized, and if you're trying to accomplish a goal, it makes it easier for you. You should try having a plan sometime. I will work through challenges. I will learn from my mistakes. We all make mistakes, but we can always learn from them. It's okay to make mistakes. I will stick with it when it gets hard. I will ask for help if I need it. If we're struggling with something, you can ask for help, it's okay. It's good to ask for help. I will do my best. I will be happy with myself for trying. Kindness Matters, a book about friendship. So let's get to it. Kindness Matters, a book about friendship. Written by Kim Mitso Thompson and Karen Mitso Hildebrand. I will appreciate my friends just the way they are. I will treat everyone kindly. We should always treat people kindly. It's the right thing to do. I will take turns and include other friends. I will be a good listener. I will be positive and encouraging. I will share my thanks. We should always share. It makes other people happy and you can have fun doing it too. I will talk calmly to solve problems. I will be honest with others. It's good to be honest with others. Then you can gain their trust and do many fun things with them. It also says I will talk calmly to solve problems. By doing that, you can solve the problem and nobody would have to get mad or yell at each other. So if you're having a problem with somebody, just solve it gently and calmly. It'll work out great. I will be forgiving and not hold a grudge. I will be caring and loving. Let's take care.